I can tell I'm winning because it's just giving me green shells. No. How is this fair? Uh oh, I'm in big trouble. Oh, worst I've got to finish there. <gasps> I think that's it. Oh, move the f away! I'm not going to do it. Yeah, we moved to Japan when I was about three years old. So what did that mean about 85, 86? And then one day my dad came home and bought this white and maroon box that was called a Famicom. And yeah, it had games like starter games. I think it was Road Fighter, Haya Kung Fu. And yeah, just became addicted and absolutely loved computer games. It took over my life about like 13 years. Looking back at it, I remember it was a few years ago, I thought, oh, those games aren't must have been quite easy if I could complete it at like the age of five or six. Go to play it, things like Metroid, Mario 3, it's still a good challenge. You think, how did I complete this when I was about like five or six? I, I don't know if it's just down to like hand-eye coordination or what, because I mean, I played them a lot, but I wasn't one of these people that would literally, it wasn't that, that's not all I did. But yeah, I generally picked them up quite quickly, really. Mario Kart, wow. Uh, yeah, I, I was addicted to that game. And the good thing about it is once I completed it, and it took a long time and loads of practice. I had a mate who was equally as, I'm not saying I was ever like really, really good at it or anything, I don't know, but I had a mate who was about the same level as me and the two player version just made it so good. You know, on one hand you want realism where you can get out in front and win the race because that's the, that measures the best driver. But also it was just, it just worked if you had a bad start and you could get a lightning bolt or a star, you could get back into it. It just, that, it was that perfect blend of fun. I'll never forget, I was playing my friend and he was seven points ahead of me and I was like a head and I had a red shell. I was in the lead and he was second. So it got to like near the end and I like held back, let him overtake me, took him out and like he finished fourth and I ended up winning the race and it, just, it was just built for things like that. That was what made, made me play it for like years on. We played it for years afterwards. We played it for hours and hours. I did smash the odd controller. I think I was at my mum's the other day and I found an old Super Nintendo controller that we were going to sell that was like in pieces. Where it got frustrating was on a donut planes 4, for example. You could be driving along and just get knocked into the water. Or you could be driving along normally and like Luigi's behind you with a star and just taps you at the back and spins you. Or I think the worst bit was being pipped right at the end. What are your thoughts are playing it like today? and how you fare and like, you know, what you expected. I haven't played that game for about 15 years, maybe. Oh, look, any game you play, you play it for a couple of hours, you can get back to a decent level. So yeah, I'd, I'd love to give it a play it again. Uh, yeah, I reckon I'd be all right at it still. Could I do 150cc first time? Uh, wait and see. Right, I have to absolutely play Mario Kart now and catch up. Come on. Yes, sixth, fifth. Oh no! That's like the worst thing you can do. Oh, I got too cocky. No! Oh, I've got to, it's got to give me a lightning bolt or something. Right, I have to absolutely just floor it. Right, give me something decent. Uh, I, I think I'm out. Alright, Mike, come on, come on. There goes the 20 out of 20 dream. Damn! Just got too cocky, I could have had that great memories as well, so nostalgia, it's just amazing. Like, I remember there's a place on the ghost track, the third one, where you go around the shortcut and it always reminds me, because I was trying to get over it one time and I messed up and I chucked my controller. And my mum shouts out, David, what, what are you doing? And I hadn't had that memory for like 15 years and as soon as I saw it, it just brought it back straight away. It's just like, wow. So I'm to flower cup next. I'm gonna play safe. No, I'm not gonna try and edit, yeah. Done. No problem. Yeah, I've won this race all over. Phew. Nine out of 10. How is this fair? Uh oh, I'm in big trouble.
Oh, worst I've got to finish second. <laughs> I think that's it. Oh, move the f out of the way! I'm not going to do it. Oh my god. Such an annoying track. I bottled it when he started starring, getting in star mode. Damn. A Mario Kart novice. Right, he needs to give me a red, I need a red shell or something to take him out. Ah, oh, oh no. Basically, I'm gonna have to wait to the last lap and hold back, get him, and then hope I can get back into the lead. This is, this is when you're playing Mario Kart. Right, when do I wait? Oh God. Get around this bit first. Okay, you go. Oh God, he's cheated. Tip it. Oh. That's all going wrong, isn't it? It's gone wrong. It was all set up nicely. He's failed. It was all set up nicely. Ah. He's done it. Yeah, did it pretty comfortably. Still really annoyed I didn't win them all first time. I just blew up, but oh, I'd have been epic if I could have taken Luigi out like that with the red shell. I didn't, but hey, second time on Star Cup, not the end of the world, is it? Special Cup, the big challenge. The first race on Special Cup is the hardest track by an absolute mold. Even when I was playing it all the time, I was never that disappointed if I came second. Right, I'll take this all day long, second going into the last lap with an attack on Yoshi. Got to not doing anything stupid like that. Oh, he's got a red shell. Right, if I can just get past him, I can have a go at him on that last bit. Oh, he's taking No! Ah, yes! Wow. I don't think I've ever won that with a go from me. Ah! Oh, wow. Winning that is a challenge in itself. Right, come on, come on. Oh, I might have left it too late. Oh, <laughs> just Nick second. It's not over yet. Oh. Oh, how I stayed on there, I do not know. Right, I've got to absolutely go for it this last lap. Come on, otherwise that's it. He's done me again. Oh, What's that thing? This is those moments where I just feel like smashing the controller. Got to take him out. Do I try and win or do I take him out? Do I try and win and say I've won 16 out of 20? I've got to go for it. Oh God, this, this is mad, this track, right. This is the corner's dangerous thing, right? Oh my God, why did I go on the most stupid bit? Be tough. You can get in the lead back. Oh, right, I've got a red shell. <laughs> yeah. right. you, it's the one track you probably can catch up quite easily as long as you don't come off. Right, seventh. Oh, right, come on, fourth. Two laps to go. 
Third. Oh, that is just insane driving. Right, I just need to hold on. Come on! Three more corners. Just gotta time this right now. Just don't get hit by this clown. He's done it. Boom! Not quite properly because I have to die three times. But yeah, is that second go? I did it second go, didn't I? Excellent driving, you're now a Super Mario Kart expert. And it gives the a little ending now, I think, as well. Well, they drive around. That's it, complete. Didn't win all. How many tracks did I win first time? 14, would have been 15, but yeah. Can't argue, really. Great game, brought back so many cracking memories. Massive nostalgia moments. There is almost, in terms of Mario Kart, there's no better feeling than when you're absolutely going for it on Rainbow Road. I've got to do it where I start from the beginning and hit all 20 tracks, but yeah, loved it. Cracking game.